Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of our NXT kickoff special. That's what I've decided to call it. So this episode we have our six man North American Championship ladder match. And of course, the first ever North American champion, Adam Cole, winning that title in a match, well, I was going to say very similar to this, it was just a ladder match. So it'll be very interesting who will come out as our, our first ever North American champion. Because our first Drew Gulak, like a lot of these... I think all but one making their universe mode debut. That was first Drew Gulak. Very excited to see what this man brings. And here's that all but one. Chad. David. Chad Gable is here. Oh, thank you. Former SmackDown Tag Team Champion won that belt, interestingly enough, in a ladder match. So Chad Gable having the best experience out of anyone here. Very intrigued to see. Can Chad Gable repeat history? Next up, Damon Kemp. Oh, is it Damon? Yeah, Damon Kemp. It's a strong start for him already. Is. And from Apple Valley, Minnesota, weighing in at two. See, a lot of these will be interesting to see. What these are made of. Eventually, before moving on up to be more SmackDown or staying on NXT. It is its own brand. It will be treated as such. There will be the chance for superstars to be called to draw and or SmackDown. Maybe main event WrestleMania one day. No, there's a. Quite a few. That I've got. Uh, that we've got our eye on. Speaking of which. Dijak. Former T bar. Former Dominic Dijakovic. I... No. Did he? Or is that just my brain thinking he did? Did he win the North American title? I don't think he did. No, this is his chance to finally capture that North American ch uh, championship. I wish I could call, sir. One individual you would not want to mess with. Because he will hurt you. And he's going to hurt you bad. One in Speaking of individuals you don't want to mess with, for a completely different reason, he's just quite insane. From Franklinville, New Jersey. Joe Gacy. What is there to say about Joe Casey? I don't think anyone knows what to say about Joe Casey. He's just quite a strange guy. Well, 
he's the sort of person that you look at and you think he looks weird and he is he's just a weird crazy guy you gotta love it Uh, Dodge, I can uh, Gacy having history. Really interesting to see what factor that plays into this. But out last the leader and of Gallus. Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland. Joe Coffee. Former. Well, I think it was just Gallus uh, Gallison. So former Coffee. NXT tag champion. Can Joe Coffey capture singles gold and kick off Dallas' time in NXT? Let's get this underway. Oh, Joe Gacy's just in the middle of the room. Well, the closest two. Don't know. Oh no, dice hacks just people are piling on top of each other. Instantly, Chad Gable takes out Troy Gacy. Damon Kemp and Drew Gulak head to the outside. That's not Drew Gulak. No, it is. That's Mark Coffey attacking Chad Gable. Dice sends a ladder into a ring and Joe Gacy with a drop kick to. Joe Coffey. Oh, that's going to get confusing. It's Joe and Joe Violence. A huge. Take that away. Check Gable as Dijak. I think it's a suplex Joe Coffey. As Joe Gacy sent to the outside. Too many Joes. Splash off the apron from Chad Gable. As Drew Gulak. It's an overhead suplex. To Damien. Kemp, a, a huge boot in the corner by Dijak, this is so difficult to keep track of, Chad Gable going under the ring, gets a steel chair out now, no, just right, oh, huge shoulder barge into the barricade by Damien Kemp, as he picks up Gable and rolls him over, uh, and Gulak closing up with a kendo stick. Joe Coffey now takes down Dijak. Gulak thinking to send Gable into the barricade, but Gable getting out of it, missing the rolling over a kick. I'm shaming Kent, but lands it on Drew Gulak. Meanwhile, I'm sure I've missed so much. Oh no, the Joes are at it again. Joe has Joe in a powerbomb. Off the ring apron, into the ring apron. Check Gable now. Look at the surf a ladder. What are we thinking? Close into the middle now. No one seemingly noticed. Is this Gable's time to shine? Drew Gulak now. Looking to try and stop Chad Gable as he attacks the midsection. And a Gable thrown off the top of the ladder. Meanwhile, Dijak laying out Gacy with a huge boot as True Kulak looks to land a huge elbow drop onto Chad Gable, who's out of the way just in time. Going back with a boot. Gable with a forearm. Gable hooks the arms. Suplex! Coffee now. With a back throater. If I do it onto a ladder, it might not be the best idea for the end. At, at least for his ankle as Chad Gable with a rolling takedown. The straps. Are down for Gable. Is it? Oh no! 
Oh, it's a full trip. Now take. Oh! Elbow drop to Mark Coffey onto the ladder. Now DDT to Joe Gacy. Onto a ladder. Not, not some sense into him. As Chad Gable thrown into the ring, narrowly avoiding that ladder, but now a neck breaker by Damon Kemp and a face buster onto Joe Coffey. Dijak now picking up Joe Gacy into a power bomb. For a power bomb into the barricade and onto the floor. Chad Gable rolls to the outside as Dan Kemp face first into the uh, turnbuckle here. Three girl that preventing Chad Gable to get him. Another weapon into this match as Joe Gacy fights back and laying in a look like a huge power slam onto Dijak. It's just impossible to keep up with everyone as Chad Gable lands an overhead kick. Not overhead kick, an overhead heel kick. To Kemp as now he starts on Dijak. We can just send him out with him, pulls him back into him. the headlock take there. Every man back in the ring now. Dijak set up. Ted Gable looking for the other row into it. Into that ladder. Could have taken that Dominic, not Dominic, but I call it. Dijak right here. And he means out. Never mind, he's back to his feet. It's a track that I might want to hurry up. I'm looking at that briefcase. It looks like Dijak's making a crime himself. Magulak once again trying to prevent Chad Gable. It's oh god! Gables ascended from the heavens. Like a neck breaker onto Dijak. This Gable sent tumbling to the outside by Joe Coffey. Face buster by Damien Kemp. Bones. Bones. Busts open Coffey. As now he looks to get through Gulak. I think he's going for a uh, Steiner recliner. Gable drives Kemp into the mat. What's he looking for here? Oh! He's going for a gut wrench power bomb, turned it into a. Wait, wait. Where's the belt? <laughs> this happened again. First the briefcase, now this. Gable. Up, looking to end it. Gulak not getting up in time, and Chad Gable is the North American champion. Here is your winner. Kicking off his success here already. On NXT. Picking up his second tight win universe mode. Chad Gable is the new NXT North American Champion. And in our main event, our NXT Championship match, Wesley a man who impressed on his time on the main roster, but now looking to finally, finally find that success he's been chasing. Going up against a man who was in the very first NXT title match, just coming up short against Seth Rollins, Jinder Mahal. 
will he finally be able to catch that title that eluded him all those years ago or will Wes Lee hinder Jinder let's find out Jinder Mahal joined by in this year the following contest is, new is scheduled for one fall and is for faction the stable in the Mahal, of course, former Making WWE champion. That's what we forget. Until AJ Styles hindered Jinder. But can he finally catch a gold once again? Oh, yeah, and he won the United States title. At WrestleMania. Oh, gosh. Will Jinder Mahal finally? Be able to catch that NXT title, of course. Done undefeated up until that final. In which case he um, lost to Seth Rollins. But before he gets to the NXT title, we have to go through this man here. Wes Lee, someone who's, it's hard to explain Wesley in our universe mode, he's not had great success, oh yeah, that's not for a lack of trying. And will he finally be able to capture Championship gold here tonight. We see the NXT title and get things underway. Jinder Mahal with a huge knee right here. A throwing Wesley across the ring. Wesley somehow already having sustained leg damage. Someone attacked Wesley. What's happened there? to Wesley's like why are they already like damaged no Jim Mahal with a spine buster this was a baseball bat there right who watch one of them either Veer or Samuel has sent a baseball bat in the room the other one's taken off the turnbuckle I don't seem to need to Jinder Mahal in complete domination, although from the looks of it, Wesley isn't 100% going into this one. Jinder Mahal driving him spine first to the floor. Trying to target the legs. Jinder sends Lee back into the ring. He goes off the ropes. Now takes him down the club and blow to the spine. Where's Lee? Not able to get into this one. 
seemingly already coming into this one hurt. Whether that be through attack or just a previously sustained injury. Another turnbuckle has been taken off. Jim Hall with a huge clothesline and an elbow drop. It's going to be a very bad night for Wesley. I can only imagine if he was attacked. This has got to be one of these three right here. Or maybe someone's just not happy with a Wesley. As a Chinema Hall busts him open on the barricade, but Lee now. The huge spinning heel kick to the ribs, and now finally starting to get some momentum back into this one. But Jinder with a neck breaker drops him. Doing a little backflip. Maybe not the best idea in this condition. What a risk landing. Funny as Jinder takes him down. Gets him in the camel clutch. Can he make Wesley submit here? A nasty cut above the eye. Lee slips out from under and drops R Jinder. He said Rinder. Face first. It's Jinder now with those elbows to the already cut head of Wesley and he does it once again. Sangram Veer, a menace to the turnbuckle so far tonight. Jinder now sets Lee up on the top. He looking for here hooks the arms reverse suplex lands it the back in the legs of Wesley in serious trouble here Jinder Mahal looking to cause as much damage as possible Pins the arm down and starts stamping on the hand. See, this has been Wesley's issue. He comes so close to great moments, and for whatever reason, seemingly falls short, but he gets out of the power bomb from Jinder Mahal. Well, I have got to say, this one doesn't seem as much on Wesley as anything else, but. Seemingly, someone has taken issue with Wesley. Of course, we don't know the extent of the damage that was already done, but clearly it's had an effect. If Jinder Mahal lands a one and knee off the ring apron. Referee a count of six as Jinder slams him spine first into the floor. As he now hooks the arms looking for another suplex but Wesley catches himself on the ring apron but Jinder just quickly regains control. Attacking the legs of Wesley. Again, Sanger, I believe that. Yeah, Sanger. Oh, Wesley catches the punch. And Jinder. A Jinder a hole goes low. The referee with his back turned. Now looking for a collapse. Hits it. Is he going to hit another one? He hooks him and lands it. Jinder Mahal surely is now NXT champion. Finally, after 10 years, Jinder Mahal finally 
No, 12 years, sorry. The modern day Mahou NXT started, well, Gender. NXT started proper in 2012. But Jinder Mahal finally capturing the NXT Championship here tonight. As we end the first episode of NXT, thank you all for watching. We'll see you on Friday nights right there. Actually, no, what am I doing? Doing my outro. We've got to do our recap. <sighs> foolish so to recap pretty deadly captures the nxt tag team championships after um seemingly just not being involved with the bloodline anymore remember that that was weird that was weird they just started helping out solo and then solo beat them both up uh, anyway tegan knox defeats carmella to claim the nxt women's championship chad gable Seemingly the ladder match master wins the NXT North American Championship. I mean, who better to be an American champion than an American hero? <laughs> Chad Gable. And finally, Jinder was not hindered as he finally captures the NXT Championship, I need to say tag team championship. A NXT championship defeated a seemingly already hurt Wesley. With seemingly someone having an issue and causing damage to him backstage. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. But thank you all for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and we will see you next time. Friday Night SmackDown.